Good morning, Aylin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's uh, day of recognition is National Dress Up Your Pet Day and now our chair principal. Good morning, Falcons, and happy snowy day again, second day in a row. We want to remind you with the snow, please uh, stay on the sidewalks when you're walking. If you walk through the grass and the snow, that tends to track the snow inside the building and then make for slippery conditions. And safety is number one priority, so please stay on the sidewalks. Also, no throwing snowballs. You know, the end of the semester is quickly approaching, so just a real reminder about uh, working hard here as we're approaching the end of the semester. Uh, good attendance is very important. Communicate with your teachers. Make sure you have all your missing work in and that you're studying for your assessments. Work hard, be prepared, and do well. If you're looking for a quiet place to study after school, Homework Club meets in the library on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And again, it's a focused, quiet place to do your homework. Think of Cook this week. It is Cook Appreciation Week, and we are very um, thankful that they serve us our warm lunches in a timely manner. So thank of Cook. Lunches, a reminder today, are out of third period, just like they would be on a Monday schedule. So follow the modified bell schedule and take lunch out of third period. Our Alan Strong Award winners today are Josh Palmer. Mr. Mendoza says is service-oriented, has no excuses. He cleans up after class. Megan Rammel is service-oriented. Mrs. Waring says she helped organize art supplies. Ms. Pasquale says Alfredo Islas Roman did a great job staying focused and working hard. That's being very scholastic. And finally, Alvigna, Mr. Hill says is scholastic and goal-oriented because she's working hard in Mo One. So pick up your awards in the main office and way to be Aileen Strong. Have a great day and back to our anchors. The varsity girls basketball team lost to Stahl yesterday by a score of 34 to 20. Claire Austin led in with 12 points. The girls traveled to Glacier View tomorrow to take on the Avalanche. This week has been declared Kitchen Staff Appreciation Week. Here at Aylin Junior High, please take a moment to say some extra thank yous to our kitchen staff this week for all of the hard work they put into making lunches, serving students, and helping students in the lunch lines. We appreciate them all and what all that they do. Remember to thank a cook today. For the next two weeks, our club will be on Thursday instead of Tuesday. Our club on Tuesday, January 14th is canceled. We will meet on Thursday, January 16th instead. Do you know Michael, what Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Mrs. Clifton, and Clay Thompson all have in common? They all play basketball for the junior high basketball team. So if you would like to become the next great basketball player out of the Puyallup area, then make sure you attend the 7th an 8th grade boys basketball meeting on Thursday, January 16th, 16th in the Commons during fly time in order to sign up for tryouts and get in, important information to make sure you're eligible to play in the new season uh, for Alan birthdays. <laughs> Sadly, there are no Allen birthdays today, but the famous birthday is Senior Day Girl. And today's snapple fact of the day is that croc a crocodile cannot move its tongue. Allen, have a fantastic day. Yeah.